morning, good morning. Oh, one thing, hang on. Gotta get that F in there. There we go. Sorry, it said Use Live. I don't want that. Fuse Live. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Fuse Live. My name is Karen, and today is Climb. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this down. Climb is a series of six. Six minute running clocks. It's the no excuse workout, because you need absolutely nothing. You need just your body, which you have. You came prepared. This is a great um, program to do on vacation, just when you're not in the mood for weights. You need to always uh, throw body weight into your program, no matter what. That being said, we start with 30 seconds of work. There's always 15 seconds of recovery. Then we go to 45 seconds, and then we go to 60 seconds. For the first couple times you go through it, it's not that, um, may not be that challenging. When you hit that 60 second mark, it gets pretty tough. We start up top, a little more cardio, if you will, and then we come down on the ground, a little more full body, a little more core centric. Then we go back to the, we stay on the ground, we go up, 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 down, down. It flows pretty nice there, right? We're gonna warm it up. I'm gonna set my watch. If you're so inclined, now's a good time. If not, who cares, right? Let me just, Get my timer on and we're gonna get moving. Hope everyone is staying cool out there. It is toasty. I wanna to welcome our new fusers. Jessica, welcome, welcome. All right, everybody get ready in three, two, here we go. Hands are up. I'm gonna step forward, pushing that hip back with a flat back, reaching towards that toe, getting that nice stretch and lifting right back up again. Switching legs, pulling the hip back, nice hinge. And reach down, beautiful. Inhale up, switch it up, and perfect. Keep it going, okay? All the way up, switch, push the hip back. Excellent. Breathe for me. 15 seconds. Ooh, nice, nice work. 10 more, here we go, here we go. Come on, Rachel. Push that hip back, that really nice stretch. Whoa, that was my shoe, that was a not such great noise. Sorry about that. And all the way up. I'm gonna come down and walk it out. Take one foot to one hand. Get that nice runner stretch. Switch sides. Open it up. You can stay here or you can walk it up to the heels. Release, get those inner thighs activated. And I'm gonna start on the other side. Get that really nice rotation in there, beautiful. Open it up. Walk it back, lift it up last time here. Here we go, all the way out, rotate nice. One more here, all the way up, walk it back, stand it up, palms are to me. I'm gonna open it up as I kick it out. Getting the shoulders really warmed up, getting those quads, glutes, those abductors, nice. Here we go, oh, come on. Boom, boom, beautiful. Keep it going, Julie. Get that body warmed up because we're gonna get right into it. After this, you have 15 more seconds, Randy. Nice work, Jody. Come on, come on. Exhale, bam, good. 10 to go. Finish it, Patty. Five, four, three, two, and more, ooh, nice. Breathe. Grab a quick drink, if your uh, mat near you, the second move, we're gonna come down to the ground. First move, I'm gonna pull my right knee in and then kick. Knee and then karate kick. You're just gonna alternate that, 30 seconds of work. Here we go in three, and turn up the hair. Two, and begin. Knee, kick. Other side, knee, kick. Knee, good. Come on. Get that body moving. Ha, boom, and up. Knee, the kick, good. Breathe as you pull it down. Perfect work, here we go. Stay with it, Jen. One more each side, here we go. Last one here, and recover, walk it off. Good, that's one, one round. Now we're going to 45 seconds, keep moving, keep breathing. 
You're on in five, Aviva. I'm gonna start with my left. In three, two, here we go. Start with that knee and kick it. Knee, kick, good. Ah. Boom. All my Karens, good work. Hup, kick, nice. Got it, Olivia, come on. Pull, kick it, good. Stay here, okay? Down, kick. Kick it, good, keep it. 15 seconds, come on, come on. Pull that belly button in, get that core engaged. In, heart rate is kicking up. Nice, Tiffany. I almost lost it there, sir. That was weird. I'm looking at too many things. And recover, sorry about that. My timer is here, I'm looking at you here. And I'm here there. All right, this is it. We're done with this after this round. Gonna alternate. I'm gonna stand one side, other side and alternate. Get ready in three, two, here we go. So we're gonna alternate it. Knee to kick, knee to kick. Perfect, go, good. Last one here, stay on whatever leg you're on. I don't care which it is. Knee, kick, this is harder. <laughs> sure is, right? Couple more here, we switch sides. One more, knee, kick, switch it up. Knee, kick, good, knee, kick, there you go. Got it, Christina. Couple more, knee, kick, good, come on. Finish alternating. Knee, kick, boom, good. I like what you're doing a lot. Stay here, boom. Couple more. Got five seconds. Four, one more each side. Down, this is it actually. Okay, come on down, that was good, it was hard. Quick transition, watch me here. I'm gonna go into this boat hold. Gonna give myself a big hug, okay? Get ready in three, two, you can keep the legs down if you need to. Pull low backs on the ground. I pull, wide arms, look at the feet. Pull it in, so if you need to, keep the legs down, okay? So stay with it in either space that works for you. Look at your feet and pull it in. Nice, Lisa. Hold and pull. Make sure when you're extended, hold it here. Pull low back is on the ground for three, two, and recover. So your back will naturally arch. You have to pull that belly button in, tuck your pelvis up to get this entire back on this mat, okay? It's really important. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. It's gonna get intense. Start here in three, two, come all the way up. Pull, look at the feet. Pull everything together, beautiful. Extend, pause. Feet are flexed, pull it in, nice. Keep it going. Hold and pull. You got this. Of course you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and pull it in. Ah, Charlene, come on, come on. Breathe and pull it in. I like what you're doing. When I come down here, my belly button is pulled in, my ribcage is connected. My core is lit up. This is getting tough. My body's starting to go to shake mode. I like shake mode. 10 seconds, come on. I'm also getting super hot. <laughs> I on you, hold it here, hold, hold, hold. Hold it for four, stay with me for three, two, and recover. Ooh, baby. So there's no rights and lefts here. We gotta just do this for a minute. Listen to my cue and my time. I'm gonna have you pause. You want this slow. Do not want this to be all momentum, unless you need it. Here we go. Hold it for three, two, and begin. Pull it in, pause. Arms are wide, pause. Pull, yes, keep it. Extend, you know where else I'm feeling this? In those inner thighs, my feet are glued together. Extend, beautiful, wow. Pull it in, pause, hold, and pull, nice. Come on, come on, Gail, stay with it, hold it here, and that tells you pull it in. Beautiful, Michelle, hold, and pause, ha. Come on, come on, come on. Make sure it's not getting sloppy. 15 seconds, pause, pause, pause. You can put the head down if you need to. 10 more to go. Breathe for me. Couple more here. Core is lit up, baby. 
Hold, finish it here. Finish, finish. Four, three, two, and release it. Ooh. Now I want you to open up that rib cage, let it pop. You feel how tight that is? Just breathe and then sit all the way up. That is the end of round one. We're going to start on the ground now. This is a tough move, got to tell you. Okay? I'm going to show you the move, then I'm going to show you um, an alternate move. So I'm going to come into a plank. I'm going to hang on. There we go. I'm going to come into a plank and bring my foot to my hand, and I'm going to stand all the way up. I'm going to come back down and switch. All right? The other option is just to pull the knee in and the other knee in. This is the beginning of round two. We start with 30 seconds, okay? A lot of balance. Get ready in three. Two, and begin. Hands underneath the shoulders. We're stepping one foot in. Lifting all the way up. Folding back in half. Hands are down. Switch those feet. Push off the heel of that foot. Come straight up. Come straight down. I love this move. Utilizing so much of your body. You're really working that core. Exhale as you push straight up. Getting that hamstring and that glute as well. Take it down. Last one here and stand all the way up and recover. Ooh, nice. Stay with it, okay? So what gets me up? I push off my heel, my hamstring gets lit up, and then to stand up, I engage that core. Here we go. I'm gonna start my right in three, two, right foot comes to the right hand. Stand up. You're gonna feel this. I need you to work that posterior chain. Breathe, connect that rib cage. Stand tall, excellent. Hinge back forward. And keep it going. Keep it fluid. As fluid as you can. Again, you can just bring a one knee to the hand and alternate it. And that's perfect. We are in constant state of progression. Okay? That means you constantly improve, but it takes time. This is a really big move. It's okay if you can't stand all the way up. You will get there, I promise. But everything takes time. And recover, nice. Talk just right through that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna alternate. We're gonna stay one side, the other side, we're gonna alternate. You don't get a ton in, and that's okay. Get ready in three, two, and here we go. All the way up, and fold back down. Switch it up. Beautiful. Come on. Good. One more time, switch it up. And come down, stay on whatever leg you want to, I don't care. Up, come back down, tap that leg back, bring it right back up again. Up, down, tap that leg back, come right back up again. One more time on the same leg, okay? Tap it up. Now we're gonna switch legs. I exhale as I stand up. Inhale as I come back down, tap it back, exhale on my big exertion, which is the standing up. Last time on the side. We're gonna alternate, we're gonna get a couple of these in. Beautiful work here. Switch it up. One more, okay, this is it. Last one, we're gonna stay standing. And then moving that mat, look how smooth that was. All right, that was good. I'm gonna start my legs wide, I'm gonna to touch, throw the arms together, step to one side and the other. Inner thighs, toes are up, get ready in three, two, sink into it, up. <laughs> I'm not a dancer, but I think that's fifth position. <laughs> Morgan, don't laugh at me right now, okay? Here we go, I turn really hard. Look how flat my back is, I'm up, sink into it, touch the inside of the heels, boom. Sink, back is flat. Shoot it up, step. Boom, give it a little pace here. Up, one more, and all the way up, beautiful. So I'm touching the inside of those heels, really getting into those inner thighs. A little head rush, cover is kicking in. 45 seconds begins in five. Get ready for me, okay? In three, two, I'm gonna go to the left this time. Here we go. I'm gonna step it in and take it over. My head is up the entire time, I'm touching the inside of those heels every time. You might only be touching your calves, and that is okay. Make sure you're stepping together, stepping out, sinking into it. Legs, the weight is distributed evenly into both of those legs. 
Beautiful. Here we go. 15 more seconds. Sink into it. Take it up. Step it wide. Beautiful. You don't need to jump around and even move super quickly in order to get that heart rate up. You just need to be effective and efficient in your movements. Last one and all the way up. Beautiful. So following in the same, and with this, we're going to alternate. Now you stick to one side, which is going to pick up the pace. The other side, we're going to alternate. Get ready in three, two. Here we go. Come down, come up, come down, come up. Beautiful. Keep it alternating right now. Don't give up on touching the inside of the heels or shooting those arms straight up. All right, we're going to stay on one side. Whatever side you're on, just stay there. Bam. Come back out. Bam. Beautiful. Ha. Push off that one leg. Couple more. One more. We're going to switch sides. Here we go. Keep it moving to that other side. Excellent. Up. You're going to feel us a lot in that supporting leg. Toes are slightly turned out. Beautiful. About two more here. One more. That's alternated. Here we go. Up. Finish it here. Boom. Inner thighs. I shake it. Love when my inner thighs get worse. Not that easy to get to them. Exhale. Come on. Bam. One more. And recover. Beautiful. Grab a quick drink. We start up top now. Her right is up. Whew. This is really a standing core. A lot of them are. Arms are my fingertips are right on my head, okay? I'm not pulling my head. They're just resting here. I'm going to take it wide, cross, wide, cross, all right? You and me. 30 seconds begins in three. Two, this is round three. Here we go. Wide, cross, wide, cross. Do you feel that waist just whittling away? So again, you can't go super fast on this. Over. Kind of, I feel a little bit like this is weird. It came into my head, but I'm a little teapot, as you don't ask me why. Weird things come into my head, but maybe you'll get it. I don't know. Over, cross, last one, over. And cross. I don't know, I just couldn't remember that. <laughs> so you want to shorten the space between the bottom of the head and the top of the hip, okay? Really get that waist activated. I'm going to start on the left side. Shake out those arms in three. So here we go. Over, cross, over, cross. Nice. Over, cross. Yes. Over. As I'm falling over. <laughs> do you want to do that? Curve. Cross it. See how my upper torso rotates as I come across. It crunches, rotate, crunch, rotate. 15 seconds. You're going to feel this in that outer thigh as well. Just giving that knee, that rotation, opening up the hip. Beautiful work. Got a lot going on here. A couple more. Last one here. Over and cross and recover. And yes, that's an isometric, keeping those arms there. Shoulders. All right, alternate, stay on one side. We stay on one side, we're gonna pick up the pace. Then come back on the ground. I'm gonna start with my left. Three, two, here we go. Over, cross, outside, cross, wide, beautiful. As you cross it, you pull the belly button in. Last one here. I'm going to start on one side, I'm going to keep it here. Boom. Wide. Cross. Little pace. Keep those fingertips resting by your ears. Ooh, this is getting intense. One more on this side. Wide. Cross. Switch it up. Wide. I was happy to switch. <laughs> Crunch it. Rotate. Crunch. Rotate. Beautiful. Couple more. One more. One more now. <laughs> Now I'll turn it. Here we go. It's kind of hard to switch that up. Whoo, baby. Come on. Wide. Cross. Almost there. Excellent. Come on. One more. Here we go. Each side. Last one. And come on down. Whoo. This is a full body. I'm going to show you quickly. Low abs as well. Just going to 
stop it for one second so you can see what I'm doing. Hands are flat. Hit us down. Pull the legs up. Pause up at the top. Lower them slowly. Sit up and push it up. Any piece of this works. This is a lot. Get ready in three. Only 30 seconds. Two, here we go. Lift it up, pause. Slowly lower it. Sit up. Push that body up into that reverse plank. Trying to keep the legs long. Lift it up. If you need to, bend the knees as you come up. Beautiful. Come on. Get those hips up to the ceiling. Try to pause in each spot. Working our posterior chain. Hold it here for three, two, and recover. Yes, your core is not just this. <laughs> nope. All right, we're going to do it again. Really try to get your feet up there. Get ready in three, two, here we go. Hands are flat. We're going to lift it all the way up. Slowly, slowly, slowly release it. Sit all the way up and push it up. You know how important it is. We talk about it all the time to be able to lift your body up. Nobody's going to do it for you, okay? You've got to be able to lift your body weight up. Cannot stress how important it is. If you ever get injured, hopefully that won't be the case, but it happens, okay? Lift it up. When I was rehabbing my knee, I cannot tell you how important it was that I could lift my entire body up and move around. It can be independent. Hold it here for three. Two and recover. Just getting out of bed. If you can just lift yourself up, it's a game changer. Lift yourself up out of your car, off your couch, off your chair, whatever it is. This is one minute. It's just, it is what it is. All the way up. Here we go. Put those hips up and come on down and lift it up. We're going to do two pulses to the ceiling, okay? So lift it up, pull the hips back down again, go right back up again, and now lower. Excellent. Then push it up. We're going to stick with the doubles. Take it up, hips come down, go right back up again, and lower it. Then lift it up. Not great for a hat. We're going to go to singles here. Lift it up, take it down, push it up. Up, take it down, lift it up. We're going to go with doubles, okay? Double it to the top if you can. Lift, hips come down, lift again. That's really, in my opinion, the hard part. I'm actually keeping my hat on right now is the hard part. Stick with the doubles. Ah, lower it. Outstanding work here. Hold, hold, hold. Hold it for three, two, and recover. Wow. Beautiful. Grab a drink. We're going to, we're already on round four. We're crushing this morning. You can do this on your knees, this next move, okay? I can only demo it on one knee. In a perfect world, if you can stay in plank, that's great. I know your arms are already shaking, so watch me. It's a bird dog. We're going to alternate it. So I'm going to lift the opposite foot and hand, and I'm going to pause and then switch. So you can come down on the ground. I can't put this knee down. But if you want to do that, by all means, okay? 30 seconds. Get ready in three. Two, start in that plank. Lift opposite foot, hand, cross fire, and pause. Switch it gently. Nice, Wendy. Keeping that back as flat as possible. Yes, Gail, there is a glass of wine on your back, and you don't want it to spill. And you're going to find out quickly which direction you are more balanced in. My right foot, left hand, I'm way steadier. I can hold that much better. Last one here, and recover. Nice. So again, you don't want to tilt your body. You want to cross fire from that supporting hand to that supporting foot. Or supporting knee to supporting foot. Get ready in three. Two, 45 seconds begins now. Slow, pause, put it down. If it's too much, even on the knee, just lift up one arm, okay? We progress, we don't digress. Make sure all four hands and the feet are on the ground before you switch it. Make this very deliberate. You have to do a weight shift. My triceps are lit up right now. Stay with it, Karen. 15 seconds here. Come on. Reach. Switch. Well, I almost fell over there. Excellent. Come on. 
Beautiful, focus is right in front of you. One more each side. Last one, and recover. So yes, we're gonna alternate. I'm gonna alternate it, and then you can touch it down, or you can try and pull for that 15 seconds on each side. Either way works for me. Get ready in three, two, here we go. So we're gonna alternate for 15 seconds. Ooh, body is shaking. Nice. One more on this side. Switch sides and I'm gonna try and hold it here. Hold it. Body shaking. Wish I moved my timer, but I didn't. Breathe. We're gonna switch in five, four, three, two, and recover. Ooh, baby. Switch, get set, hold. Hand is underneath that shoulder. Hold it. Ten seconds. Breathe. Five. Four, three, two, and alternate. Wow, that was tough. Oh my goodness. Shaking, shaking, shaking. I love it. Nice, Rachel, come on. One more each side. Last one, and come on up. Oh man, I'm dripping and shaking. Woo! All right, I'm gonna pivot squat and touch. And together, and touch and center. Get ready in three, two, I'm gonna alternate. So I'm gonna touch here, pivot, touch center, other side, touch center. I like the pivot, it makes me lift all the way up, shift that body weight. I don't know what kind of floor you have. A rubber floor could be a little challenging. Just do the best you can. If the pivot is messing you up, just touch down and then sit down, okay? Last one and recover. Woo! That'll, that'll get you moving. <laughs> Breathe. Four to five seconds, get ready. I'm gonna go that way. Come on in three, two, so a touch center, and then I sit down on it. So again, the pivot's not working, just touch and then pull the elbows out. Okay, beautiful. Stay with me here. This is not fast, it's very controlled and powerful and hard. Did I mention that? <laughs> oh, shoot. You got it, Sue. Come on, take a seat. Get over. Great work. Stay with it, okay? Come on, Claire. Sink into it, Nikki. Last one, and recover. Oh my gosh. Burn, baby, burn. How's this feeling after pickleball, Howard? You can alternate, stay on one side, and alternate, round of five. Woo. Three, two, here we go. Take a seat. And reach, and pivot. Come on. Take a seat, and pivot. We're gonna stay on this side right now. We're gonna come back to center, touch it with the same hand. I like to touch with the opposite hand. I think it's a little more fluid. Wow, burn, everything. Last one, center alternator. Here we go. Perfect. I am touching the ground. Each time I did, over you are. Come on. Take it over. So we had a couple people request a no sugar challenge. Alternate it. I think two weeks is a very um, doable amount of time and the longer we kind of lose it. I feel like we should start it one more right after the 4th of July. Should you have? Because you know everyone's going to screw it up then. Which is fine. So we're going to start it. I'm going to talk to Sam. Let's talk about maybe the fifth, all right? This is our last round. Arms are wide. So I'm going to keep my legs long. I'm going to give a nice rotation of my torso. As I kick that straight leg, I'm just rotating. Let's do the best we can. Get ready. 30 seconds begins in three. Two, here we go. Rotate and rotate. 
exhale, pull that belly button in, boom, and boom. So the longer the lever, the longer my arms are, the longer my legs are, even though we're not moving super fast, your blood has to flow to all of that, okay? The harder it becomes, exhale, as you rotate, bam. Pull that belly button in, it's not a huge movement. Last one, and recover, nice, and breathe. Brought to 45 seconds. Keep moving, I'm not doing a little dance, just for the record. You're ready in five. Here we go in three. Come to the side, two, and begin, 45 seconds. Nice rotation, bam, set yourself up. Arm, my hands are straight, my arms are straight, excuse me. My hands are even with my shoulders. I'm trying to get my foot to my hand, not overly lowering my hand to my foot. You're gonna feel it all the way to the top of the glute. If it feels like you are jumping at your back, add a knee, okay, instead. So I just wanted to show that. 15 seconds, a little shorter lever. Arms, isometric, are beginning to burn. 10 seconds, come on. Exhale as you rotate around, beautiful. Five more seconds here. One more each side, take it around, last one, and around and recover, ooh. Feel that on the top of the shoulders. So we're gonna alternate, we're gonna stay to one side. Same deal, okay? Get ready in five. You see it's a little harder when you walk when you stay on one side. Get ready in three. I love change within change. Two, the only way change happens, people, is if you create it, okay? <laughs> no change happens while lying in bed, all right? Or sitting on a couch, nope. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot, I just untied my shoe. That's okay. Take it here, stand that one side. I'll tie it before we come back down. If I fall, someone will come get me, right? Five seconds, ooh, baby. Two more, so I'm rotating my body, and one, and switch it up, here we go. Step it down, this is gonna drive me crazy. Keep it going, but I don't wanna miss anything. I don't wanna miss a second. <laughs> Dedication. That's when I wanna fall, so we'll see how this works out for me. Alternate it, no, because I'm gonna, Wipe out here. Keep going, come on, I'll make it up, I promise. That was not intentional. All right, five seconds, sorry about that. Safety first, you know how I roll. And recover, come on down to the ground, shake that out. Ooh, baby, I'm gonna take a seat, slight bend in the knees. This is it, before our finisher, we're done, we're crushing this morning. Heels are light, hands are here, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna here we go, begin. Down, sit it up, punch, punch. Question, when you come up with your heels on the ground, are they popping up? If they're popping up, pull that belly button dance those low abs, you gotta find them. Come on, alternate which arm you punch with, if you can. I don't even touch my, my shoulders, so I'm gonna come down and come right back up again so my core is engaged the entire time. Come on, down, take it up, bam, bam, last one, down, up, Perfect. Whew. So, I'm on my heels, not on my feet. Why? Physiologically, it tucks my pelvis under, okay? That's what I need. I need to pull connect it. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Get ready in three, two, here we go. Arms are in. If you need the arms for momentum, use them. If you can wait, you're all the way up, then punch it up, that's great. Try and alternate those punches. I go right, left, and then left, right. Nice. Bam, bam, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. All the way up, punch it out. We're gonna punch it out for four here, step top. Give me four, three, two, one, come on down. Again, leading with the left. Four, three, two, one, come on down. Leading with the right. Four, three, two, one, one more time. Take it up, lead with that left. Four, three, two, one, perfect. So 15 seconds, right left, and then 15 seconds we're gonna do four of them, okay? Here we go, three, two, pick it up. One, two, come on down. Left, right, or whatever. <laughs> Don't think, just do, squeeze those legs together. Take it up, bam, bam. And down, one, two, perfect. Now we're gonna add four when we come up top. Four, three, two, one, down. Nice, Heather. Four, three, 
three, two, one, down. Beautiful. Up. Four, three, two, one, down. Come on. Now double it up. That's it. Come on down. Up. One, two, and down. Beautiful. Almost there. It's a lot. I know it is. Woo. Everything's burning. Pick it up. Bam, bam. Last one we're going to finish. Last 15 seconds. Four, four, three, two, one, down. Keep that rib cage together as you punch it out. Come on down. Almost there. <clears throat> Last one. Like that. One, two, three, four, and recover. Oh, man. Come on up. So, the finisher for the month has been the same. We're almost done with that. I happen to really like it. We're going to do a walk. It's always a walk down. First round is a walk down. We start 60 seconds. Now we go down the hill. 60 seconds and work, 45 seconds, and then 30. We're going to do a full push-up. You can come down on your knees, okay? And it's perfect. And then we're going to push up, release it, and then push it up. I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm going to walk it down. Body, I just want to make sure I'm in the frame. I'm going to release hands and legs, pop it back up, walk it up, and bring it up, okay? It's a lot. But you know, refuse it. Well, excellent. Are you ready? Of course we're ready. 60 seconds. Begins in three. Two, here we go. Any piece of this works for me, okay? Walk it out. Bring it all the way down. One piece, slowly, slowly, slowly. Lift the hands and feet up. Posterior chain, pop it up. One piece. You can come on those knees. You can jump this at the top. And you're not going to jump it, but you can. Come on down. Slow, slow, slow. Release. I do not have much flexion in my back. I have a lot of fusion, so I'm not the best example here. But you really kind of squeeze, get the hands and the feet off the ground, pop it up. All the way up, beautiful. Come on down, last one here, oh no, this is been 15 seconds left, sorry about that. All the way down, release, pop it up. We're gonna stay on the ground and we're gonna finish it here. We're gonna do two of these, okay? Come all the way down, pop it up, one more. Take it down, release, pop it up, and walk it up. All right, we have a minute down. Kind of blend into the background, sorry about that. Now we've got 45 seconds. It's a lot, but you're amazing. Get ready in five. Any piece of this works. Get ready in three, two. My toes are slightly turned out. I'm sitting down. Here we go. Walk it out. Lower that body. Release it. Pop it up. I don't know. You feel pretty powerful when you pop it up. You can add a little jump here if you want. Come on down. Slow. Release. Up. It is so important again to be able to push your body up off the ground, all right? Come on. Take it down. Pop it up. It's a lot. I know it is. I'm right here with you. 15 seconds. Come on. Take it down. Pop it up. We've got one more. Come on. You got one more. And you, of course, you do. Walk it out. Take it all the way down. Pop it up. Ooh, baby. And all the way up. Oh my God. Woo! This is it. After this round, 30 seconds, we get rid of the mat. And we're almost done. Get ready in five. Three, two, we're not going to get many of these in, alright? 30 seconds of work is a lot. <sighs> Pop it up. Pick it up. Come on down. All the way down. Lift it up. Try and get your body in one piece. Halfway. Come on, walk down. Lower it. Lift it up. Last one here. Come on, we're in it together. This is it, I promise. Last round, best round. All the way down. Head up, pop it up. And recover. Get rid of the mat, please. I want you to have some space here. We always finish with a walk down and a shuffle of some sort. So we're gonna shuffle, try and get three. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna one, two, three, half the skater, okay? Other side, as deep as you can. Try and cover as much ground as you can. Here we go, three, two, I'll start over here now. I'm gonna try and touch the ground. Down. Boom. I can touch the ground on one side. I, I knew he doesn't 
fed quite as much, but I'm doing the best I can do, which is all I ask of you, okay? In these little shuffles, stay low. I want you to feel strong. For those of you that do play tennis, pickleball, anything. It's a great move, these lateral motions, okay? Stay light on your feet. I want you to be comfortable and confident, moving side to side. Come on, reach it. Stay low, go a little lower. Go a little lower, 20 seconds, come on. And reach it, low. Light on the feet, I hope you're not hearing yourself land. Be good to yourself. And reach it, come on. 10 more seconds here. Tap it down. Back and forth. One more time, back and forth. <laughs> and over. And recover, oh man. 30 side, one minute down. High five, three. Woo, get ready in five. Three, here we go, two. So I'm crossing that leg behind me. I like to call it a skater, you can call it a curtsy squat. You can call it whatever you want. And reach it. Stay light on those feet. Keep your arms wide. And now touch wide. And touch, good, wide. Come on, and touch, beautiful. Come on, low, beautiful, low. And touch it, yes, we're almost there, come on, ha! 15 seconds, you can do anything, you know you can. Just tell yourself you can and you will, I promise, 10. Here we go, over, to the end, reach it. One more time, back and forth, and over, and recover. Oh man, this is it, 30 seconds, we're done. Heart rate is up there. I love it, you can get your own heart rate up there without any assistance. Stay low, keep the arms wide if you can. This is it. Three, two, three, go. One, two, three. Pay attention. I don't want you to hear yourself land. I don't want you to be so low, light on your feet. Don't sound like a herd of elephants. Okay? Stay light. The lighter you land, the kinder you're being to your body, okay? Come on. About less than 15 seconds. Try and keep the arms out. If you can, 10. And reach it. Come on. Back and forth a couple more times. Over, back and forth one more time, take it over, and all the way back, don't give up, one, two, three, and back. Wow, high five to you. Big inhale in, take your arm a couple times. Other way, oh wow, hold it here, and take it over. Excellent, hold, and breathe. Another side and reach, and reach behind you. And pull back and take the head. And just calm that body down, pull the hips back, stretch. Really nice job. Take it down, release it for three, two, and one. Roll it up nice and easy. Take one leg, take it in five times. I talk about this a lot because I mean it. So, again, especially if we have quite a few infusers, don't fall over like I just did. We have six different programs and they change pretty dramatically. And that some use heavy weights, some are more cardio intense, some are more strength intense, some have bands, and this one obviously is all body work, okay? You go take your leg the other way. So you, it is so important that your body uses body weight strength, uses resistance training, which are bands, less one, and uses strength training, which is your weights, okay? You need all three. Open it all the way up. Here's the cool part. You don't need a single cardio machine. You don't ever have to own one, okay? <laughs> Kinda cool, huh? Come on down, take a seat if you can. Let's give a nice stretch. And that, nothing wrong if you have them, but you don't have to. Hinge forward with a straight back and hold. Ooh, breathe, this is tough. I am not flexible as you can see. Legs are straight, reach. Open up that chest, reach for the toes. Exhale as you open that up. Give me two more here. Really reach and squeeze. Last one, take it up and squeeze it. Take one leg over, opposite leg, and nice rotation. Hold it here for three, two, and stretch it up. Take it over and hold. Hold it here for three, two, and recover. Take the legs wide. Walk the hands forward. Oh my God, it's so tight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Sit all the way up nice and tall, one arm through the other arm over. Really stretch this out. We use our obliques a lot. Reach around for one foot and switch 
it up. Take it through and over here. Excellent work, everyone. Come on up. Nice and easy. Big inhale in one more time. Exhale it out. You were amazing. Sam's on tomorrow. It is strength day, so we went from no weights to pretty heavy weights. It's a nice balance between all of them, okay? Have a great rest of your day. I don't know where you live, but if you live in Michigan, it's like insanely hot here. I cannot stress how important it is. You normally say half your body weight? No, you need more than that, okay? Try and do half and then add two more glasses on minimum, all right? If you start to get a headache, you don't feel great, it's because you are getting dehydrated, all right? That being said, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you Saturday.